Hi guys, Dorothy here from um, the paint, the Ventro paint bar. Um, today we're going to just quickly do a quick demonstration of how to use Ventro silver metallic paints. Um, we've been getting a lot of uh, inquiries around it. We've had lots of customers really enjoy using it. Um, silver painting their bedside tables, their dressing tables, their frames, their decor. It's a very, very um, it's a beautiful silver metallic paint that is very, very easy to use. Now, Vintro silver metallic paint is a paint. It is not a chalk paint. So you will need to paint um, first with Vintro chalk paint. And for today's demonstration, we are using Victorian black. Um, I'm going to give my Victorian black a really good stir. We're down to almost the bottom of the tin here. So... I'm going to use my synthetic round brush. I want a little bit of texture but not too much and I'm going to paint straight over um, my pine photo frame. I'm not being too fussed about how I'm painting. Um, giving it a little bit of texture. The coverage of Victorian black, as you might have already heard, is insane. It covers beautifully on the first coat. So you need to do one coat of intro chalk paint onto your varnished furniture or your resin mirror or you know whatever it is that you're wanting to silver because chalk paint, Ventro chalk paint will stick to pretty much anything. And then once you've finished painting, give it time to dry. Um, with the Ventro chalk paint, depending on how thick you apply it, the rough dry time in New Zealand climate is about 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to use a hair dryer um, just because this is a really, really quick demo that we're doing for you. When you're doing it at home, it's best for um, to let it dry naturally. So there you are. So one coat of Intro Victorian Black. Then I'm ready to use my silver paint. So here's the Ventro Silver Metallic Paint. You open it up, give it a really good stir. It's a beautiful metallic paint. Lots of beautiful, um, it's got a beautiful sparkle to it. It's really, really lovely. Um, I'm going to use my flat synthetic brush for this. I'm just gonna pick up my silver paint and brush straight over. My Victorian black. And the coverage of the silver paint over chalk paint is incredible. So you can do this over your dressing table, you can do it over your um, over your bedside tables, um, or you can just, you know, silver a mirror or some decor that you have around the home. Okay, so once you've finished silvering, um, leave it to dry. I'm going to run a hairdryer over this again. Um, and again, at home, it's best to leave it to dry naturally. There's lots of beautiful texture underneath my silver. And we're going to age this shortly. Um, and kind of give it more of an aged silver look. Um, so all of that beautiful texture is going to work to our favour. So I'm going to give it a quick dry.
So once it's dry, you can see it's got a beautiful sheen to it. Um, you know, you could leave it like this, um, or you can um, age it, which is what we're about to do. So to age it, you're gonna need to get some of your Vintro Clear Wax. And um, all of our customers have been very, very excited about using the, using the Vintro Clear Wax. It's very soft, um, very silky. It's like working with warm butter. And um, put your clear wax out on um, some baking paper or in a container or a plate. Use a little bit of your Vintro um, Victorian Black. I'm just gonna use what's left over on, on the stick here and mix it together to create your colored wax. Mix it so it's, you know, it's black, but you know, reasonably subtle. You have that freedom to make it quite subtle when you're um, mixing your own colored wax. And um, with the Vintro range, you know, the waxes are so beautifully um, soft and silky and the paints are so highly pigmented um, that you can mix any color wax you like. And then what I'm gonna do is grab my um, Vintro Pure Bristle brush, pick up my um, colored wax and brush it over. Grab your clean lint free rag. And take some off, take the excess off. Let it sit in between the texture. And take your time when you're wiping um, detailing back. You know, make it a little bit more silver on the raised areas. Leave the um, darker wax to kind of sit in the bevels. You have quite a bit of playtime with the coloured waxes. Um, so on a frame like this, you know, it's quite easy to, to detail without it drying too quickly. <laughs> 